See how that's just going to go around and fill in. And the beauty of it is that it sort of paints itself. You know, you've got this lovely... Time to get up. <laughs> now I put some orange in that as well, and that will cause like a bit of a vibration happening. You don't want all the same colour. It still says red, orange, poppy. Yeah. But it's just got this, you know, this life to it. Now, we are going to get bleed marks with this, which is fine. So I don't really need to do too much work to it to make it have lovely bleed marks. So Because there's a lot of um, excess, you know, paint there. Lucky apron, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I got that from Nice. It's gorgeous. From an art shop. Make those in Sellington. Yeah, she could. People that want to look like artists. Yeah. But it's got that lovely juicy watercolour look about it, hasn't nice. it? Um, if you're going to do a white one, you white. need to have. Yeah, you watch this. You need. Um, Cerulean blue out, or, or you know how they're creamy colour. You know they. Have I got them there? Oh yeah, yeah, there's one that's sort of hard. Just a little bigger one. This could be the ballerina one hanging down. So let's just drop in. This is three primary colours, but it depends on how I... Remind me to do your um, white roses with you. So at the moment that like, looks like a blue flower. Mm -hmm. I'll now get a little bit of pink. And I'm going to let that pink blend in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now it looks like a, bit like a pink flower. A little bit of the yellow. So see how mixing the three colours backwards and forwards. If it was a very pale apricot one, I'd be concentrating more the yellow and the pink. Mm -hmm. But it's important to leave a little bit of white as well. It just it's just got that lovely delicate blush like that. Beautiful. And that can be little little, little creases. Gorgeous. So when you mix the pink and the yellow together, you're going to get an apricot colour. But I'd rather it be put down separately like this. <laughs> you're on video. <laughs> and then we can do that. What's the point of it? Who are they? Oh, well, you've been saying it's good. It has been good, but you know how I live when I needed someone, where were they? No, they just never come when you want them, do they? they when you need them. No. And just wet the stem. Mm -hmm. I love the ones where they're hanging down like that. I think they've got some real... But I like those bleed marks too. I like the way that's that's done that. I just think it adds get on to when you get onto Pinterest and look at my fabrics, have it you can really see how I did the sweet peas and the anemones. And um, I think the bleed marks just give it you know that make it look like a watercolour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They just look like a beautiful watercolour. Yeah. Whereas if I coloured them in so that they look perfect. Ma, it's all right. I might take up because there's no point to taking paint out now. What's the time? I don't know what the time is. Stamp this down here like that. 25 25 Oh, okay. It's good. She's not even extra What was that for? Nice face, Kim. Can we get a photo of that? 
I like how you're dropping yeah. the purple into the blue. Do you like yes. me standing over you watching it? Yeah. 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 What do I do? Because I feel like I've just got a big mess of, of pencil. Okay, have you got your needable rubber? I don't know. Have you got a needable? You've got two. She doesn't know what it is. I don't know what I've got. Okay, let's get the the the. Who knows if it? The look 